there you guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome to the community garden plot again. Uh, it's kind of muddy, it's gonna be rainy and stuff. I, uh, I watered yesterday and it's been very humid so it hasn't dried up. So anyway, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update because the pumpkins are growing huge, well the pumpkin plants, and uh, the cucumbers are growing really, really well. Uh, my card broken down, as some of you know from my Facebook page, uh, I've since gotten a new car, so I'm able to come back to the garden plot. It's been about a week since I, I haven't been able to be here, since last Tuesday. So uh, things are really, really coming along. The Thailand giant baby is doing well. It's got a new leaf coming out. I don't know whether you can see that very well. Uh, but yeah, let's do a little bit of a walkthrough. I was very excited to see what was happening. Sorry for the wind noise. Uh, it's a windy day. A storm's on its way. Uh, here's the tomatoes. I've got lots of uh, tomatoes here. There's some growing right there. There's more growing just over here. There's lots and lots of uh, more tomatoes under here. Lots going on over here. Raspberries are doing really well. Gonna have lots of uh, fruit on there. Hopefully the birds don't eat it all. Hopefully I get one or two. Here's the uh, English cucumber. I was very excited when I opened this up and I saw this this cucumber right here. I don't know how big is is uh, appropriate to to harvest. Let me get in here. As you can see against my hand, it's it's a good size. So how big should it be before I harvest it? Let me know. And there's all kinds of uh, babies uh, growing in here as well. As you can see right here. It's like beans, they're just everywhere. I can't really get the camera focused so that you can see all of them. But uh, needless to say, there's, there's dozens in here already. And this pumpkin plant is getting gigantic. It takes up so much of the garden plot already. As you can see, it's sprawling all over. It's over there into the uh, the peas. It's underneath the uh, the raspberries. It's coming all the way to my feet over here. It probably takes up a I don't know an eight foot circle, six a seven foot circle maybe. And I've got all kinds of beautiful flowers. These are for the most part male flowers, but you need the male flowers to, to produce the, the fruit as well. So, um, all of my fruit seems to be on the yellow side so far. So maybe they just haven't been pollinated, maybe the male flowers are just starting to come out in force. So I'll keep you posted on that. So far I don't have any, uh, any pumpkins per se, but I hope that changes very, very soon. Let's uh, check down in here. Yeah, I still don't see any uh, any nice green pumpkins. That's sad, but at least it's a start. The peas are starting to grow really, really well. I need to get in here and, and uh, train them up the trellis again. Hopefully I start getting some... Uh, oh, there's some flowers. Won't be long until I get some snap peas then. Hope there's more flowers on this one as well. So fingers crossed that they come soon. They've got asparagus growing in everything, as you can see, blowing in the wind. Uh, my carrots are, are doing just fine. And the beets are getting huge. Let's go to the front of the beet row here. Hopefully you can hear most of this video. I'll move this out of the way. Can you see the uh, the base of this beet? It's finally starting to, to grow in size. So that's very promising. Let me look under here. They're really, really close together. I'll probably have to thin some of these out. But uh, they're doing well. And my beans, I finally have some bean flowers. All along here, there's finally flowers. The rabbits seem to uh, have taken a back seat, and uh, maybe that's because I planted some, uh, let's go over here, some marigolds in here. 
Um, since I planted the marigolds, it does seem like they're they're eating less. So there might be something to be said about marigolds and keeping bunnies away. Lots, lots and lots of flowers, as you can see. And the plants that were eaten to the ground are now finally starting to be able to put out some uh, some new growth. So fingers crossed that uh, it'll continue to go that way. I'd really like some beans soon. Um, and last, here are the baby plumerias, the plumeria seedlings. Let's just go along the row here. Some of them are doing well, some of them not so well. But uh, they're growing nonetheless. This one here that lost its top, it's got two, uh, two sprouts off to the side. I don't know whether you can see that very well because of the glare. Um, I don't know when to expect to see inflows, whether it's this year or maybe next year to see inflows, but hopefully that comes soon. Anyway, uh, I will uh, keep you updated on this and uh, happy growing everyone. Anyway, uh, right now it's in a, a cheap plastic pot and uh, the second any breeze hits, as you can see, it, there's not really a breeze and it's already tipping over.